Yes, guys, here we have the bad boy. Yeah. So I was trying to catch uh, my line around, but I realized some of the blocks are up and down. If you do, I'm going to run a line around the building differently. But I'm going to use this to at least get them on some form of measurement. Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel electrical installation chip e where today we are on this building where we're gonna mark out where we're gonna put our boxes into the wall uh, so we're gonna mark it out to cut, get it cut out and so forth Smart work, hard work done with the number. Yes guys, one of the things that uh, um, a few people ask me about, and I think it's mainly people from overseas, um, I don't think people in Jamaica ask those questions, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm right, but one of the things they ask me is that whenever time they see me cutting walls and so forth, put in the boxes and the pipes, the conduits, they always say, why didn't I pipe the building so that I don't have to cut the wall? Um, to put in the boxes. It cannot be done like that. Many reasons why it cannot be done like that. I'm going to give you some of the reasons. And one of the things you have to understand, this is not prefabricated building, this is building block. It's not prefabricated. Pre prefabricated building, you know, the, um, the structure, the, 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 um, the house frame and structure, they, they come with it where you just put in the boxes and the pipes and then they pour concrete. No building block, just concrete into that. And prefabricated building, you definitely have to put in the boxes and the conduit into it, but with 
they live long. There are too many um, disadvantages about that for it not to um, be the right thing. For instance, I have my box right here. One of the things is when a builder is going to be running his lane is blocked, I would have to be here every time a builder is running blocks. I cannot do that. For time consuming, I have 10, maybe 20 projects to do. I have to be elsewhere. I cannot sit on a project from the start till it's finished every day. Uh, inconvenient the masonry and everything they're running in the locks. That is one of the things. No one gotta tolerate that. The second thing is, how would I say, the second thing is time consuming, and the third thing is, for me personally, I like my, as you can see, see are the lines that I draw. After I use the laser to get the lever right around the building of lines that I use. Uh, I did have my masonry pencil with me. So, and, and I, I like to use this whenever time I'm doing it on a building block. The nursery pencil tend to rub out too quick and the markers and so forth. I use those and more smooth ones. So I, know I just like to use that flat mouse screwdriver that I use. I do I use it for that specific where I draw my line. If a nursery lane is black and his lane is black around, how would I get all my plugs? As you can see, my lower plugs, all of them are on the same level. All of my switches are on the same level. All of my wall lights are on the same level. And it's right around the building. In order for you to do that, you cannot. It's impossible for a masonry to be laying in black and you find time to cut that out and you get it to the same level with the other one around there. You're going to have sockets that are going to be up, you have sockets that are going to be down. And then you're not going to be look professional. It's going to be like a sloppy job. The best way for it is for whenever time they build a shop, you come, you mark out where you want to put your boxes and so forth. You cut them up and you get a level right around the building. Right? And another thing is, most of the time, most petitions can say this. A lot of the time, projects are, um, they give on projects where mainly whenever time they reach taking, you even be aware of. So most of the time you don't even know when the building block is running and so forth. People just call you whenever time the decking is going to be due. And that is when you are aware of the work. Most of the time. Sometimes. Some contractor will give you a heads up. Most of them don't. All they will do say to you is that I have a job for you. Look out for, uh, for it pretty soon. So there are many reasons why guys you cannot um, do that. Um, by running the pipe into the wall and to avoid cutting the wall. And another thing is. We have the equipment then for use cut out the wall, so it's not a problem. Uh, there's a um, there's an equipment where you can use and run, uh, run on the wall. I forgot what it name. You run on the wall and it cuts it out and it does go inside a, a, a thing there. But that cannot use on these building blocks. So whenever you watch videos with those um, machines that use cut the wall, it's mainly soft walls. It cannot. I use one already from a friend of mine. And to be honest, it almost burned within no time because of the building block. The hardness of the building block. So when people ask me why I don't use that, we cannot use those and these building blocks. I don't know if anyone of anyone that can use on building blocks and you can do a whole lot of project with it. Fine, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. I will try to get one of those brand. But I used one before. Don't last long. With our cutting up. Easy for us to cut out the wall. That's why we like to cut wall before it even flash. Because we need to pick the joints to cut them from here. So it's much easier for us. So guys, hope you learn something from that and understand what I'm trying to say.